Hi Tech Dad and what we're looking at here is another P2 projector and this one is by AXA Technologies. You can see it right here. It's a fairly compact device. Uh, it's a, what they call a micro projector but Pico projectors are sort of the new hot thing. They were starting to come out in the market last year and um, we're seeing more and more of these. So what I liked a lot about this one is the fact that it actually is a fairly bright projector. It throws out about 33 lumens and can actually project a um, fairly good size image onto a wall uh, that could be almost 60 or 80 inches. Um, so almost the size of a, of a big screen. And you can see it's got a pretty robust fan in there, big lens which you can manually focus on the top, controls, that sort of thing. But what also comes in the in the basic pack is you get a, a battery and I've attached, uh, there's a tripod mount here and I've attached that to the battery. You have a battery charger so that you can uh, just slide it on and, and hook it up to the power supply and, and charge it that way. It's fairly easy to do. Um, I'm not showing the, the charger right here, but there is a, a wall charger, or you can use um, a, uh, yeah, the wall charger goes in right there. So, some other things that it comes with, which is pretty nice, is a little mini tripod, which I'll show a little bit later once I uh, put the projector on there. It has a standard VGA cable that you can connect to a laptop, as well as sort of AV ins here. Um, so you could connect like a, a, a gaming console or a DVD, portable DVD player or something like that. Just connect it right in. It also comes, lastly, with a pretty pretty good featured remote, as you can see here. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Probably not. But uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire this up and uh, show some some a movie that I'm gonna have running on my iPod. There's another optional cable that you can get that has an iPod dock. Uh, you just connect it in the bottom of, of an iPod or an iPhone and then simply put it into the the side of the, the, the P2 here. So you can see there, if you can see that right there, there's uh, a port for headphones as well as the AVN which goes right in there. There's also a slot here for a micro SD card. So that's kind of nice. You can load up uh, movies or uh, images or that sort of thing and slide it right in there. It does have built-in storage which is another nice thing that I liked about it. So it has about a, a gig worth of internal storage and you simply connect a USB cable to that and load it in from your computer. The only thing is you have to make sure that you get it to the proper resolution that's accepted with the P2, otherwise it won't display. So you, you do have to do a little bit of uh, monkeying around with that. It's got the on-off switch and, and volume controls there, as well as, as I mentioned, some controls on the top that, that help you handle the playback. So I'll be right back showing some images. Okay, so we now have the AXA P2 projector up and running, and I'm not sure if you can hear that noise, but that is actually the fan that runs, and this is one of my big complaints about this projector is the fan noise is pretty loud, but uh, it's great for a business environment, or if you have some external speakers, you could hook it up, and then the fan noise really is negligible. So I have this directly connected into my uh, laptop here and it's uh, fairly easy to set up. I have it running at uh, 800 by 600 and just projecting on a wall right over here just to uh, give you an idea for what it looks like. It's probably four feet away right now and you can see it's projecting on this uh, door. And this is with the lights fully on. So what I'm going to do now is then going to actually dim the lights and you can see how uh, 
how strong the 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 bulb or the lens actually is on this. So this is again at 33 lumens. So right now I'm turning off the uh, light here. It's dimming down, and you can see it's quite bright. So uh, my computer just went into screensaver mode. You get this nice blue screen, but there it is. You can see the the resolution is is really really crisp, and it's easy to view. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to hook this up to my iPhone, play a movie, uh, and actually this time project it on the ceiling because I did a uh, review of another P2 or another Pico projector and used uh, a movie projecting on the screen. So it might be or on the ceiling so it might be kind of interesting to do a comparative uh, comparative sort of not side by side but a comparative re review using the same type of display all right so here's how i have it set up with my iphone here using the optional adapter it's hooking into the av um, port on the side nice thing about this tripod is there is a little notch there that lets you um, pivot this this ball bearing type of mount so that you can be projecting in just about any angle that you want so gonna start filming on the ceiling in just a second alright so I had to go handheld here to, to show this working so the lights are off it's just at night time Projector's running, you can see uh, pretty bright going on right there. And here is what we see on the ceiling now. So let me play it. And it's trying to focus, there we go. So you can see this is probably four and a half feet to the ceiling. Great quality, very, very bright. Um, so with an iPod, it's important to remember that you can't project everything from there. You can only do movies, videos, that type of thing, as well as uh, photo slideshows. But pretty much Apple has locked down the uh, functionality uh, in terms of what you can and cannot show through the display port. So you can see, looks really good the only other minor complaint is that the volume isn't very high in there so i recommend getting some external speakers when you're using this and then it will really work quite well so there you have it that's the axa p2 uh, pico projector great powerful uh, Pico projector that I think would be really good for uh, businesses or people who are traveling a lot maybe in for hotel rooms or the back of an airplane seat that type of thing um, you can get optional batteries that last longer it does connect to a standard power supply <clears throat> again some of the highlights on this it does display an 800 by 600 SVGA resolution has 33 lumens uh, LED light source one gigabyte of onboard memory which you can uh, use in, via a USB connection and just load it from your computer it has the SD slot which you can see up there and it can project up to an 80 inch image on a wall and you don't need to, to do it in complete darkness so if you want to read more about the AXA P2 Pico projector, you can read it on my blog, and that's at www.hitechdad.com. And if you have any questions about this or about other products, you can reach me on Twitter, and I'm at HitechDad.